Welcome to the Ruckus Associates Smart Zone Administrator demonstration series for Smart Zone OS 5 release. In this course, we will show you the functionality of Smart Zone OS 5, along with the basic configuration of the many aspects of the controller. In this video, I will cover Guest Pass authentication. We'll create a guest access portal, associate it with the WLAN, and then show how a special Guest Pass administrator can be provisioned to generate guest passes. Finally, we'll test what we've done by logging in using a guest pass. Let's get started. There are several options for providing wireless access for users you don't know about in advance. You may set up an open guest WLAN with no authentication at all. Anyone within range can join the network. This has obvious security implications if the WLAN is not isolated from other networks. Another option is to set a password and create a password or pre-shared key that gets distributed to the guests. Again, there are security implications since the password or key can be shared with anyone once it's been given out. Guest Pass authentication allows you to provision secure, password-protected access to guests for a limited time and a limited number of devices, reducing the risk of unauthorized access. Let's think about an example of how this might work in a real situation. Let's say you have a sales team from a software vendor coming on site to present a demonstration of their cloud offerings. They need internet access for the duration of the presentation, but no other services or access. You want the front desk receptionist to be able to create temporary passes for these guests. In order to enable guests to log into the wireless LAN, we first need to create a guest access portal. This is done through services and profiles, hotspots, and portals. Note that we're logged in here as the partner uh, administrator. Later we'll uh, create a guest pass administrator user and assign the guest pass administrator role uh, to that person so that they can create guest passes. So what we're going to do is drill down to the zone where we want to create our guest portal and click create. Uh, we're going to give this a name, Team X Guest Portal. And select the language, uh, English by default. Now we have a choice as to whether we can uh, redirect the user to the URL they typed in initially, or we can redirect them to a specific page. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep that as redirect to the URL that the user intends to visit. Um, if you have an SMS gateway uh, set up, you can communicate with your users via text, uh, but uh, we're going to leave that disabled for now. And there are also uh, default terms and conditions that will be displayed on the portal when the user logs in. Um, you can further customize the portal by adding a logo. And uh, there's a limit on the size of the logo that you can use, but I'll, well, there you go. Let's try that again. Okay, I got one that's 96 pixels, so this should be sm small enough. Uh, you can also edit the title that you want. and click OK to create the guest portal. Next, we want to create the wireless LAN that the guests will log into. And as with all wireless LANs, we'll go to the wireless LANs section here and uh, drill down to the zone in which we want to create the wireless LAN and uh, even to the uh, wireless LAN group. And we'll click Create here. And we'll give our wireless LAN a name and the SSID to match it. So Team X Guest WLAN. Notice that the SSID mirrors that. Uh, we'll create that in our uh, zone. I was wrong about that. So TMAX zone and uh, within our TMAX WLAN group one. 
Now for authentication options, we're going to choose guest access here. And we'll leave uh, the method open and encryption set to none. Uh, as we drill down here uh, for the guest access portal, uh, this gives you the option if you have several defined, you can select from uh, this drop down, but it's populated with the one that we just built. Bypass CNA is on by default. We'll leave that that way and we'll leave guest authentication as guest uh, and leave guest accounting off. Um, one other thing I want to point out is uh, wireless client isolation is on by default for all wireless LANs. And uh, in this case, you know, where we have guests, we probably want to leave that on as well. Click OK to create the WLAN. And now the guest portal is associated with this guest wireless LAN. Now we'll create the user account for the receptionist to be able to provision guest passes to visitors. We'll go to Administration, Admins, and Roles uh, to create this administrator. And select the Administrators tab. Drill down to the domain in which we want to create the user account and click Create. We'll give the account a name. and. Uh, a password. Repeat that. And uh, additional information if, uh, if we want to. But um, this will be a, a shared user account. Now we'll create the role or group for uh, this user with the permissions as a guest pass administrator. So we'll go to groups, again select the domain, and click create. And we'll give this role a name, tmax guest pass admin. And you can see under here under admissions, we already have a preset for guest pass admin. And we'll leave the account security as it is. And when we click the next box, um, you'll see that guest pass, uh, we have full access to guest passes over here on the right hand side. That's already pre selected. Uh, we could customize this if we wanted to, but we'll just uh, keep it that way. Uh, we want it provisioned in the TMAX domain. And so we'll. Click the right arrow to add the TMAX domain. And uh, we also want uh, this provision for the whole partner uh, domain, so we'll add that one as well. And now we'll add the TMAX GPA user account that we just created. Finally, we'll review all this. It's guest pass admin. Uh, can create guest passes in the guest pass template. And so that's all good. We'll click OK. So we've created the guest access portal, assigned it to a wireless LAN, and created a user and role for a guest pass administrator to log in with limited permissions to create the guest passes for guests. Now let's see the actual creation of guest passes in action. I'll log out and log back in with the user account that we just created. And as you remember, this was Team XGPA was the user account, and that's at Team X Partner. Type in the password. All right, and once I'm logged in, you'll notice that the only Permissions I have are related to uh, creating guest passes or editing guest pass templates or creating new templates. So um, let's, uh, let's generate a guest pass. Uh, so I have two options here. So first of all, I select my domain. I can either generate an individual guest pass one at a time, or I can import guest passes from uh, a CSV file, a comma 
separated values uh, uh, text file. Um, and I'll do both, but uh, we'll start with generating a guest pass uh, individually. And you can see here if I've got additional uh, templates, I can uh, add those in, but uh, we won't cover creating templates here. Um, we'll just use the default. So I'm going to generate a guest pass and um, I'm going to give this uh, a name. So let's call it uh, Vendor Y. And uh, I'll select the zone uh, where we want to define this. Uh, the number of passes. Now let's say we had a number of people coming in and they all wanted to use uh, the same pass. We could uh, generate uh, several passes or if they were coming back for multiple days. Um, but we're only going to create one pass and let's make it for four hours. That'll be the length of the presentation this morning. Okay, um, under advanced options, we have the option to have the system generate random keywords or we can type in a password ourselves. So let's just type in ruckus1 splat. Uh, we can define the, the four hours when that starts, if it starts from right now when I create this, or if it's effective from the first time they log in. Um, and I can also limit the number of devices. So, for example, you know, we could allow somebody to log in with, you know, both their uh, laptop and their mobile phone, but let's just keep that to one and click generate and uh, later we'll come back and we'll log in with this we'll, we'll, we'll show the uh, guest access portal and we'll log in with this vendor y using the password that we just uh, created now let's see how we would import a number of guest passes at the same time using a comma separated value or csv file uh, so I'm going to click on import guest pass here and uh, we have a sample that you can download and then just fill in your own information. I've already done that uh, with this file here, guest pass file. And um, let me just open that for a second so you can see what it looks like. Uh, so we have three columns basically, you know, a name, description, and uh, the key. And if the key is left empty, the system will uh, take that as, okay, I need to randomly generate a, a key. So for Sunil in sales, uh, that'll get generated automatically. So let me close this so I can import it. Three guest passes, okay, so that's right. Uh, we want it in our Team X Guest WLAN zone, and uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, WLAN. And again, we can uh, select from effective from first use. Let's make this four hours and uh, limit it to one device each and click import. All right, and there you see uh, those three users are created. You can see that Sunil's uh, password is randomly generated. And then um, these can be distributed to the, uh, to the guest users. Okay, so we've put everything together. We've created our guest access portal. Uh, we've created the administrator user account and the permissions for a guest pass administrator to go in uh, and that you know, we've gone in and generated some guest passes. So now let's see how that all works for the end user. So I'm uh, logged in here as a uh, to a Windows machine. I'm logged in virtually so uh, this may be a little slow. Um, you can see I'm already connected to the uh, TeamX guest WLAN that we just created. And I'm just going to open a browser here and type in Ruckus Wireless. 
But here you go. Here is the guest access portal. You remember, welcome to the Ruckus Networks guest access portal. Here's the logo that we added there. And uh, I'm going to log in with that vendor Y uh, password that we created. And I'll click login. You'll see that those terms of use that we uh, selected by default are there. Accept. When I click continue, this should take me to the Ruckus Wireless site, and so it does. So um, as a vendor, I can come in and uh, have access to the internet. I can demonstrate my uh, cloud uh, software, and um, you know I have limited access for a period of four hours, and then that'll time out, and I'll have to get a new guest pass if I want to go for longer than that. Thanks for your attention during this demonstration, and um, this is the basics of how to generate guest passes uh, and log in, uh, allow guests to log into a guest access portal.